It's Debatable with Mark Gray here on MLBBro.com. All right, it's your boy Mark Gray, the MLB OG. He is our intrepid number one draft pick. He is Man Ram. You know him as Manny Brown. Here's the debate. Hey, man, I'm going to keep it real with you, man. I've seen a lot of fans do a lot of crazy things, but which is crazier? Is it the fans who jumped on Tim Anderson or was it Anderson himself for flashing the double bird? Listen, man, I I love Tim Anderson. This is nothing against the guy. He is an incredible player. I love him. Everything he does is good for the game. But you gotta, you gotta be able to have that composure to keep it together, my brother. Like, listen, you're not the first, you're not gonna be the last that's gonna hear some jeering, some inappropriate comments at a stadium, at a game, bro. You gotta, you gotta keep that stuff boiled in. And I'm not one of these old fogies that like, oh, you, you, you stay buttoned up and you keep it tight. Nah, forget all that. I get it. There's a certain point and a certain line that you don't cross as fans. But as an athlete, you also got to keep that composure and you got to keep it together, man. We've seen this, uh, what, two weeks ago with Kyrie Irving, you know, flipping the bird at, at Boston fans. Now you've seen it with Tim Anderson. I don't want this to be the new norm, especially for us. And you know what I mean when I say us. He's a face of the game type of player. But when do we start reining fans in and holding them for uh, uh, accountable? When you under the pressure, of a high intense playoff moment like Kyrie Irving was or in the throes of a bit of a slump like Tim Anderson was. I don't think you can judge that as his entire body of work. I get your point about what stereotypes are, but again, fans stereotyping themselves, man. So which is worse, the action or the reaction? We just celebrated Jackie Robinson. No man on earth faced more adversity and challenges and difficulties dealing with fans and racism and all that than Jackie Robinson. And Jackie Robinson was able to help hold his head. I, I get it, different time frame. You could do it too, you could survive it. The New York Yankee fans, you get a walk off dub and then they start showering the field with trash. Have Yankee fans or baseball fans in general simply lost their minds these days? Nah, I don't think so, man. Listen, Yankee fans, listen, and I'm not trying to defend because I'm a New Yorker. I'm a Mets fan, so listen, anything that that knocks Yankee fans, I'm all on board for. That being said, man, again, man, with these sensitive athletes, bro, people are going to talk mess. Again, you think you're the first outfielder, visiting outfielder that's faced heat from fans in the Bronx? No, it's been happening for 100 years. I get it. There does cross a line. I don't think you should be throwing things at fans. I don't think you should be, you know, again, if it gets racial, it gets personal, you're throwing things, that sort of thing. How much you draw the line. does it get when people are throwing bottles at the opposition when the team has won the game in walk-off fashion? I understand, we bro. To, we but used you to also to the this- Yankee fan as the smartest fan base in baseball, all right? I sat at the World Series in 96 and listened to them admonish Cecil Fielder saying things about his weight. You can't turn around on the inside fastball, Cecil, because your gut's too big. Classic you know, stuff. But you, know how you, shut them up? you know how you shut them up? You know how you shut them up? You beat their brains in. Beat their brains in. Beat their squad's brain in. Yeah, but the Yankees have won the game. Why are you throwing bottles at them on I the way off? I understand that. We yeah, haven't seen it have always ever. been trash. Keep it when's moving. The, Beat their the brains in. Time, That's how you do it. When's the last time you ever seen a team walk off celebration derailed by beer bottle throwing fans after you won? Hey, all I'm going to say is it's Yankee fans. This isn't exactly the smartest bunch here, regardless of the reputation. You don't see that stuff in Queens. That's all I'm going to say. You know something? I'll channel my, what is it, coming to America, inner child. You know why you don't see it in Queens? Because there's a lot of common parts. That's it. (laughs) Anyway, that's my guy, Man Ram. (laughs) Check him out, Manny Brown. I'm Mark Gray, the MLB OG. That's debatable for this week on MLBBro.com.